Hi, uh, Michał Wrzosek. Uh, today I would like to show you uh, my recent uh, weekend project, uh, which is global vaccination decentralized application built on Ethereum blockchain. So uh, some week ago, uh, I thought about the idea of um, how blockchain technology could be used for uh, vaccination certificates, uh, which, you know, it's, it's uh, something that uh, all of us, mo most of us will have to go through, which is uh, proving somehow that you are vaccinated in order to hop on the airplane, airplane or I don't know, whatever, something else. Of course, this kind of solutions are being built for a year at least, probably, but still, I was curious how I could use uh, my skills in order to build something like this. So let's start off by uh, just showing you the appli application itself. And later on, I will explain to you uh, how I make it work with Ethereum. And uh, yeah, I will show you even the code and, uh, but let's, let's start. So first of all, uh, there's this application is running locally. And, and yeah, I have also my local uh, blockchain running uh, here where I can see all the accounts or the blogs on the blockchain, all the transactions, my contract and uh, yeah, but let's start. So first of all, you need to connect to your wallet. So you have to somehow, you need a provider that will allow you to uh, that will allow you to interact with the blockchain. And uh, the, the most popular solution is, I believe, uh, is a MetaMask add-on for, uh, um, for a Chrome browser. So here, for example, I'm already, uh, I ha already set up my wallet. Uh, I created an account. Um, there are some fake number of Ethereum, of course. If I would have that much Ethereum, <laughs> I would be very happy. Uh, but okay, let's connect. So my application asked me if I'm okay to connect with uh, my application, with that uh, account. And actually this account is already approved in my application as an authority that can issue uh, certificates. Let's, uh, let's connect. So now my application recognize uh, this account, uh, shows some avatar generated out of this uh, account number. And uh, here I can just issue a new certificate. Let's say uh, I have, I don't know, a patient here <laughs> that I just gave a job of um, a vaccine. And um, I wanna put this information on a blockchain I would uh, take someone's passport, verify that this person is indeed this person, then, uh, I don't know, some German patient with um, some weird uh, passport number. Uh, let's issue the certificate. Now, the MetaMask, my wallet is asking me if I'm actually uh, sure that I wanna uh, do this. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna go into details how Ethereum works, but uh, it costs some um, gas. Okay, then let's not uh, go into that. But I, I'm just confirming this transaction. I want to issue the certificate, confirm, and boom, uh, certificate. It's uh, it's written on the blockchain, or it will be written on the blockchain soon because it needs to be mined. In this case, it's actually have been mined already. And uh, yeah, the certificate uh, consists of uh, three important things. This is this uh, passport country code, uh, passport number that I provide. And then there is also some special key code uh, randomly generated for the certificate. And uh, the hash value of it, the so-called uh, signature is now saved on the blockchain. So uh, let's just download uh, this uh, 
certificate. So there is uh, yeah, just a simple idea that you would have uh, some kind of yeah, PDF with uh, your QR code. Uh, let me now use my phone and uh, make a picture of that. <laughs> uh, so let's say, yeah, so that I can later on use it to uh, verify and uh, yeah, I will, let's let's see. So, okay, so the certificate was issued, great. And now imagine now we are in a, in a different role. We are on the airport, and uh, I wanna check if uh, this German citizen is actually uh, vaccinated. So I can turn off my camera and uh, scan his. Uh, QR code that he provided and uh, boom uh, my application uh, read the QR code and uh, cross check that uh, this um, uh, signature is actually located on a blockchain and it's uh, signed by some trusted authority this is great this person is good to go on the airplane, for example, right? And that's uh, that's all. That's the application. Uh, it uh, seems really small. It is, in fact, really small and simple. But the cool fact is that, uh, yeah, we just use a blockchain, Ethereum, uh, to build something like this. Uh, so let me go back now and uh, explain to you, but because maybe you are not really sure what just happened here. So the difference uh, to regular applications would be is the backend. So here that all this uh, data is not stored on some, I don't know, uh, some uh, untrusted server or just some company have his own, I don't know, machines and they are storing the data there. No, this uh, all this information is stored on a publicly available uh, blockchain in this case uh, it's Ethereum blockchain and uh, the idea here is that um, yeah in a, in a blockchain usually all the data in uh, this database mm -hmm. is uh, publicly available everyone can see exactly what's there um, the, another cool thing about Ethereum actually is that it's not just about storing some data, it's actually about deploying your code into the blockchain. So this is really cool. Uh, my application is actually here deployed to the blockchain itself and then uh, the network is running my code. Uh, that's why every time you interact uh, and you want to make some changes uh with your code no actually not the code but uh, in your contract which is how we call the application on uh, ethereum you need to pay uh, yeah so that's that's one thing another thing is that uh, when i was initially a week ago thinking about how to solve this idea just like the vogue idea of having a blockchain, not necessarily an Ethereum. The obvious thing is that you don't want to store uh, private information on a public database. You, I, I don't think ever anyone would be happy to uh, see their passport numbers on a publicly available <laughs> global database. So um, here I'm storing the hash of someone's passport number and his like kind of secure key so it's like a signature salt uh, that he don't really share with many people that way someone that just go through the this uh, ethereum blockchain slash database he just see hashes and he can't really tell uh, who's the person or was the passport number of the the person that uh, just uh, got the certificate 
so that's uh, one thing. Uh, what else? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I will just uh, show you how it works now. <laughs> More deeper, I will show you some code. Uh, so if you are not really interested in that, uh, you don't have to follow. But uh, all the code, all this application is available publicly on my GitHub. So if you want to build your own uh, decentralized application, you have some mm, reference point. Uh, so first of all, how it works, uh, there are some basic libraries that you can use for building blockchain dApps, uh, which is Truffle. And there is also Ganesh, Ganesh, I don't know how to uh, pronounce the name, but this is uh, some lo uh, locally local blockchain you can run on your device in order to test your application. So here you can emulate having some accounts. You can exactly see all the blocks on your blockchain, uh, all the transactions and the contract itself. So here you can see there's this vaccination certificates contract. Contract, as I said before, this is uh, how we call the application, the code uh, that govern what can happen um and the like the cool thing about it is uh yeah you you just create a transparent code and everyone can check what what's gonna happen uh before interacting with your uh piece of code uh so here it is this is uh all the backend <laughs> for uh this application it's uh, written in solidity uh, version 0.6.12 or close to that at least um, oh, that's my wife sorry <laughs> uh, so um, yeah the, what, what this code does is uh, it issues certificates it just uh, writes something to the database it's uh, there is also some uh, role-based authentication control built in uh, in this contract thanks to open zeppelin uh, library uh, so that uh, there is an owner of this contract and he can govern uh, the roles and he, he can grant and revoke roles from uh, other accounts and these authorities as well can uh, grant and revoke roles from each other uh, so this is something, of course, that's uh, implemented uh, in a very simple manner, uh, in a real production-grade uh, contract. It, it would, uh, would have to be thought out much uh, better, uh, but that's uh, good enough to demonstrate how such application can work. Uh, the, the cool f good thing to know is that yeah, once you deploy your uh, code, you cannot really change the code. You can try to uh, build in some migration mechanism in your contract. Uh, but um, yeah, because of that uh, immutab immutability of your code, you have to just test it out really well. So here I'm writing some tests, checking the most important uh, functionalities. But of course, it uh, yeah, you should test out everything uh, as much as possible because um, you don't want to introduce a new bug in your Ethereum uh, contract. It can cost you a lot of money or just headaches. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, something you can deploy to your local blockchain or actually the mainnet on Ethereum uh, using Truffle. And uh, the another thing is the front end, uh, which I built in uh, React. Um, it's enough. It's it's not really that different from a regular web application. Besides that, uh, there there is some code uh, specific for connecting with um, Ethereum 
actually connecting with a provider that connects to the network. In my case, it was uh, MetaMask, uh, but I believe you could use uh, any other solutions like specific uh, browsers built just for using this kind of uh, decentralized applications. Uh, so uh, it's, it's up to the user actually, uh, as long as the provider is uh, following the spec, uh, it should work. Mm, yeah, so uh, main libra libraries that you should be aware of is uh, Web3. There are some MetaMask libraries uh, that helps you out in detecting this provider and so on. Mm. Uh, the cool thing is that uh, the Truffle that uh, lets you um, develop your contract can generate a schema JSON file that uh, later on you can Im import in your uh, front-end project uh, that will help you speed up your development uh, in order to like having all the important bits uh, to tell the provider and web free how to actually what's the address for example right of this contract on a blockchain and uh, what can be done with this contract Beside that, I don't know. Uh, I don't think uh, <laughs> anything here is uh, blockchain specific. Yeah, you can always check it out. Um, maybe I'm, I'm gonna improve some stuff. So one thing that I uh, didn't implement it yet are events on Solidity. You could uh, have, yeah, some you can implement events that are gonna be dispatched. Uh, for example, when someone issues a certificate and then in your application, you can just listen to those events and show new um, certificates issued by other authorities, for example, or maybe, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, there's so much more you could uh, do uh, with this kind of application. But uh, yeah, my um, thoughts after uh, a bit of uh, development in uh, with Solidity, Ethereum and so on is that uh, it's surprisingly easy. Uh, of course, um, it, the support is not that well like for React, for example, right? But uh, still, you can easily find yourself uh, in, in this development world. And uh, I believe Ethereum is going to have uh, some more improvements soon uh, that will speed up the amount of blocks that can be mined. And there's just, um, it's a pleasure to work with uh, something uh, that sophisticated. I think that's all. So you've seen the app. Uh, uh, and I believe, um, the solutions that are, that are out there uh, probably somehow similar because I, I know at least there is at least one uh, solution built on Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, that's all. Uh, have a great uh, 2021. I hope it's uh, going to be better and you will not have any issues with your uh, vaccination certificates. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See you.